YouTube. Welcome back to Cassandra's Kitchen, where I eat to live and not live to eat. Today, I'm going to be making a lentil soup. So if you're interested in seeing how I make this hearty lentil soup, stay tuned and I'll show you. going to be a quick and easy soup but it's going to be hearty and delicious one of the things i love about fall is because you can have soups and your chilies and so i'm excited to start kicking off the fall season so i thought about just doing a great hearty lentil soup also if you haven't tried my vegan chili it is definitely delicious it's um, already out there on the site. I'll put the link in the description as well because y'all, I'm talking about a good hearty chili. I mean, award-winning chili. You can take this to any place. They would not miss the meat at all and they're gonna love it. And so just check out the um, chili recipe. But this one, let's go ahead and move forward here. So what I'm gonna be using for my lentil, of course, my lentil soup, I'm gonna be using lentils. I have a couple of pounds of washed lentils. I'm going to be using an onion. I cut up one large onion, diced that up, cut up a two large, I had two large carrots, and I have some bell peppers, two large bell peppers. I'm using the green and red pepper, and I have some portobello mushrooms. I had about six large mushrooms. I cut those up, and I have a couple of cups of washed kale. So that's what we're gonna be using in our soup. So we're gonna go ahead and move over to the stove and get this started. But one thing I wanted to share with you guys because we know the holidays are coming up. And so when you got fall, what's next? Thanksgiving, then Christmas. And so I know that a lot of people struggle around the holidays whenever they're turning vegan. Like, what am I gonna eat? I mean, I'm so used to having, you know, this, that, and the other for Thanksgiving. Don't worry, your girl got you covered, okay? So what I'm gonna be doing going forward, I'm gonna do a holiday dish. So that way, before Thanksgiving comes, you will have your whole spread ready to go. I promise you. So I'm gonna show you how to make those same traditional dishes without sacrificing on the flavor, but without having any of the dairy, any of the meats in there, and not having all the sugars and the sodium, using a more healthier version of sugar and the salt. So hey, I got you covered. If you're looking for a healthy Thanksgiving spread, don't worry, just stay tuned on Cassandra's Kitchen. Make sure you keep that notification bell on. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel because I got you covered on that. So come on over here to the stove. We're gonna get down on this lentil soup. All right, so we're just starting off in our uh, in our pot. We're putting a little bit of olive oil in here. Again, you guys always know I'm using just a Greek uh, organic olive oil. So I have my pan coated with my olive oil. And what I'm going to put in here first, and I actually failed to mention I do have some um, garlic. I cut up a couple of garlic cloves. I have my garlic here too. So we want to get our onions and garlic and everything down in our pot. So I'm going to go ahead and put my onions in here first. I don't want to put my garlic on the very bottom because I don't want that to burn. So then on top of my garlic, on top of my onions, I will put my garlic in. Which is really no rhyme or rhythm on how what you need to put in the pot first, but this is just how I'm doing mine, okay? So I got my garlic, chopped up garlic. Then I'm gonna go ahead and get my peppers in here because what I'm gonna do is just kind of let this get a little saute going before I start to put in my broth and my lentils to let that cook. So we got our peppers in here. Like I said, this is gonna be hearty, so I cut up quite a bit of uh, peppers and onions because I like a nice hearty soup. Then we're gonna put in our carrots. Like I said, I cut up two large carrots. Just cut, peel those, cut those down, get those in here. I like having soup left over. I like being able to have it for a couple of days. So this is gonna be that. And then we have our mushrooms here. We get our mushrooms down in there. Just kind of 
mix all that together. And we have our kale. Get our kale down in here. This has been washed, so this will cook down, of course, a little bit as that starts to saute. Just want to make sure it's kind of not broken up too small, but you know, nice bite-sized pieces of kale. I, I break this up and clean it for my salads. I use kale in my uh, salads that I use. So I already had this pretty much ready to go. And so what we're going to do, we're just going to let this go for a second. Let it cook down a little bit before we start to put in our um, seasonings. Uh, the seasonings uh -huh. that I'm going to be using, of course, I'm going to be using the Better Than Bouillon No Chicken Base. I love this stuff, it tastes really good. I'm gonna use a little bit of our Italian seasoning blend. Just a little bit of smoked paprika to give it a little smoky flavor there. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of heat. I'm gonna use a little bit of the jalapeno chili powder. Now you don't have to, you can omit the heat um, or you can use cayenne, but this is optional. But I'm just gonna add just a slight little bit of heat to mine. So we're just gonna let this go for a second before we start putting in our um, seasonings. And so for the bouillon, of course, you use a teaspoon per um, eight ounces, I think, of water. Let me double check. Or you can do it to your own, you know, likings, of course. Yes, so one teaspoon per eight ounces of water, which is a good, great ratio it keeps it very balanced so um i'm going to use probably about four or five uh, teaspoons of the bouillon because i want that flavor to be infused in my lentils and also in the soup as a whole so i'm not using no other sodium except for this but we're just going to let this go for a second and kind of let that kind of cook down just a little bit before we get our lentils and our broth and everything going so just stay tuned and I'll keep you posted here. All right, so here we are, guys. We have, the, I've had this cooking for 10 minutes. See how it's kind of cooked down? We didn't want to, you know, overcook it, of course, but we wanted to get some of that cooked down in there. So now we can put in our seasoning. So I am going to put in, I want to put in a teaspoon of the smoked paprika, but my teaspoon won't fit down in here. So I'm gonna do two halves. So a teaspoon of the smoked paprika, just to give it that smoky taste. I'm just going to use a little bit of the, about a half a teaspoon of the heat. And if I need more, I'll put it in later. But I'm going to just start off with a half a teaspoon because I don't want it too hot. I just want a little heat in there. And then our Italian. I'm just going to put a tablespoon of our Italian seasoning in there. And then our bouillon. So this is what I'm going to use. Probably about five of these. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to get my water. I just want to get some of this off my spoon. Actually, let me do this. Just get my water in here. So I'm trying to tell you guys how much water I cook because this is a double batch. And I'm hoping my pot is big enough. If not, I'll have to transfer it over to a bigger pot. So let me kind of mix this bouillon down in here. Get that just kind of mixed in there really good. So that was one cup of water. And when you get done mixing all your water in there, you can um, okay. and then um, now we're gonna put in our lentils. And usually I only use a pound of lentils, but this is two pounds. That's why I was worrying about my pot being maybe too large, too small. Let me get a bigger spoon here. 
kind of mix that in. But you know, lentils don't swell that big that much. So I'm hoping this pot will do. Okay, just gonna get that mixed in here. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the rest of our water in here. And then this is where you can test your um, seasoning when you get your water in here because whatever your broth tastes like. So that's two, that's four cups of water. Six cups of water. Eight, we're gonna do 10 total. This was 10 cups of water. So let me stir this a little bit more. Okay. And I just want to taste this to see what the broth tastes like. Mm, that's good. But I'm gonna add one more scoop of my bouillon base. So what, that's six? Yes, six. But like I said, always season to your likings. Cause not everybody's seasoning or preference is the same, but season it to your own liking. Now what we're gonna do now, we're gonna let this boil. We're gonna let it come to a good boil. And once it comes to a good rolling boil, then we're gonna turn it down and let it just simmer on medium to low let it simmer for about 40 minutes and that way that'll give our kale our carrots and everything time to really cook but we want to get it up to a good boil before we turn it down so i got mine on pretty much almost on high not completely high between medium and high let me taste this one more time <clears throat> mm -hmm. and it's got that nice little hint of heat but it's not overpowering you can taste your Italian blend it's not overpowering and so this is gonna be good but well, we want to let this just cook I think I'm gonna add one more cup of water because I want to this is gonna cook down and I want to have quite a bit of broth actually it's gonna fill this up yeah so that was 10 12 cups of water for my pot 13 so that's 13 cups of water. Since I did add a little bit more water, I'm going to add one more little thing of the bouillon broth. Bouillon. Okay. Because I don't want this to cook down and lose all my broth as it's cooking. I said my pot, I usually only do one pound of lentils. So I kind of doubled this recipe and put two pounds because I wanted to make sure I had a lot of leftovers. So to get through the week. All right, so we're gonna let this go. We're gonna put our lid on here. We're just gonna let this come to a little boil. You don't want it to boil over. So if you don't have vents on your lids, I do, but I'm still gonna kind of keep it tilted a little bit so it doesn't boil over. And once this comes to a boil, we're gonna turn it down and just let this go ahead and simmer. So I'll come back over and let you guys see what it looks like and we'll go from there. All right, fam, here we are. This is at a rolling boil. And so we're just gonna turn our heat down, turn the temperature down, and we're just gonna let this kind of simmer, probably for about a good 30, 45 minutes, or until everything's good and tender, of course. So I'm turning mine down. And um, if, you, if it cooks down, so just monitor your, your broth, because you don't want your broth to be gone if you got all this substance in here, not a lot of broth. So if you need to add more water to yours, that's fine. Just make sure you add more of your bouillon base or more seasoning because you don't want it to be a bland soup. So as mine starts to simmer down, I'll see if I need to bring my water level back up. And if I do, I will. And if I need to add more of the chicken, um, the bouillon, I would do that because we want to make sure that flavor profile stays the same. So just go ahead and let that now simmer that we got everything in here. And as it simmers, those flavors are going to marinate really together. And we'll come back and let you see the final uh, soup. All right, guys, look at this. Doesn't this look so good? Oh, my gosh. Look at those peppers, onions, carrots, 
mushrooms and the kale and the lentils they are perfect so i let this simmer down for about 35 40 minutes i would say because you know lentils they don't take long to cook at all so but mine is ready i am turning it off the flavor is great so i'm gonna get a bowl of this out let it cool off and then i'll come over and let you guys see what it tastes like but it turned out delicious guys you can throw some corn muffins on with this some corn or some hot water cornbread uh, or a good grilled cheese sandwich oh my gosh like for real it's endless here but this is a pot of just amazing lentil uh soup so hey i'll be back and let you guys see what it tastes like but i want to give you a close-up mine is done and it tastes so good so here you have it lentil soup all right guys we are done yay see how simple and easy that was to make not hard at all but guys look at this soup it is so good and hearty just a good bowl of comforting soup on a nice fall day can't go wrong here and it's just got a whole bunch of alkaline ingredients in here so that's even a plus so it looks good i've tasted it and i think it tastes pretty good as well but of course it's my cooking i could be biased at times if i wanted to be but i'm not so i'm gonna ask for my lovely husband mr coleman yes can i have your assistance please yes you may my favorite time once again great come on over here so and got here. taste this hearty hard soup there's no meat in it guys i know my husband loves his meat and things like that which he doesn't eat meat but he likes all the meat substitutes so sometimes i'm telling him no we're not doing that uh, we're just having the veggies and so but anyway he's a pescatarian I'm proud of you because he's given up, for the most part, he's given up beef and pork, fish. He's He says he's not going to give up seafood. He eats wild caught. I make him eat only certain seafoods. Chicken, he's still straddling. He's straddling the fence, y'all. So just pray for him. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> he's come a very well, long way. I'm working on the job. He, yeah. And it's only every blue moon he'll want a piece of chicken. Yeah. And so he, he has to make his own. If he wants chicken, he can't go out and get chicken because, you know, they'll use, they're not using uh, organic and, you know, steroid free, right. hormone free. So if he wants a piece of chicken, I, I tell him he has to make his own chicken. He can't eat it out. So, yeah. But anyway, enough okay. talking about you. I'm sorry. Yeah. But it's like putting my business out on Front Street. <laughs> That's what it is. So, hey. I'm just putting his business all out on Front Street. But okay. anyway, here's the lovely soup. All right. And let me know what you think. I know he be telling the truth. He be telling the truth. I'll be going back and looking at some of my videos. I'm like, really? Did you just say it like that? But I love him for that. Mm. He keeps me honest. Yeah. This is good, y'all. You won't be disappointed. You like this it? This is absolutely amazing. Yes. The flavor. The flavor, everything, y'all. Good God Almighty. Yay. You. So I didn't use too it's much good. of one and not enough of the other. It's just. It's really, really good, y'all. Yeah. I mean, the. The kale, the carrots, the onions, and the peppers, and the lentil in there. Mm. Tell y'all. It's comforting. Very comforting. Yeah. It's not too spicy. I mean, it's just right, really. You know. Mm. And he continues to eat. Yeah, I'm sorry. With a mouthful. <laughs> but. Well, good. I'm glad you like it. I'm you won't be disappointed. Good. It's really, really good. It's hearty. I'm telling you, with some cornbread or something like that, I'm telling you, it's good. It's good like that. I mean, I, I'm going to eat it just like that. I don't really need no bread or nothing. I mean, that's how good it is. I mean, it's excellent. Great job, babe. Thank you. you did Thank good. you. Yeah. So, guys, I think it's delicious. So, I think the bouillon, um, the better mm -hmm. the bouillon did help it with the flavor profile. But if you don't have the bouillon cubes, of course, that's okay. You can use your veggie broth. Yes. You can just add your own seasonings to it. I've done it before like that as well, and it tastes amazing. But you give it a try, and if you like it, you know what to do. Give, give me, me a thumbs up. up. Give, give me a thumbs up. up. And, of course, share this video. Share, you guys. Like I said, it's fall. 
Yes. It's time for comforting foods. You know, you get your bowl of soup yes. and just curl up in your blanket. This is the time. So yes. definitely share the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting on? Go out subscribe. there and subscribe. Hey, and I'm telling y'all, don't forget to look at her chili video because I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. Oh, it's yeah. off the chain. So, hey, try it. And you will love it. Yes, and I will definitely put that in my description because the chili is amazing, guys. My husband used to always make chilies. We would win cook-offs and everything. So I took his recipe and turned it into a vegan, healthy recipe. So go out there and try it. You won't be disappointed. I'll put that link in the description. And again, be on the lookout for all of the holiday dishes. Yay! Thanksgiving is coming up. And I will not leave you guys without some holiday dishes that you can spread your table with, that your family will love and enjoy. And they're not going to say, what is this? They're going to eat it. They're going to enjoy it. So keep an eye out for those videos. They're coming as well. But from Cassandra's Kitchen into yours, I love you. Be blessed until next time. Bye-bye now.